being able to express our thoughts directly in natural language is definitely much faster than typing. This is also a prerequisite for vibe coding. The tool I'm introducing today is quite remarkable. It might be the most powerful speech input software currently available. Let me show you the results first. This software is based on OpenAI's Whisper, which is currently the best speech text tool available. Today, I will introduce you two methods. The first one is an open source code repository on GitHub. Awesome. This is super cool. Okay. However, for most people, deploying this tool, deploying this code directly from Mac OS can be quite challenging. So I've done two things. First, I translated it into English. Second, I summarized the simplest local deploy method. I believe that the vast majority of people should be able to master it following my tutorial. You see, the results is so accurate. Of course, if you still find my steps too cumbersome, you can jump to the end of the video for the second method, installing a Whisper keyboard application. That's a mature paid software with a $10 monthly subscription fee. But it might be more convenient to use. All right, without further ado, Let's start explaining the complete free local deployment method for Whisper input. Let's make sure you have Python 3.10 or higher installed on your Mac. Open terminal and type. You should see version 3.10 or higher. If not, please install Python first. Um, download the project. Let's start by downloading the source code. In your terminal, navigate to where you want to install the project and run these two commands. Step two, get your API key. You'll need an API key from Croc. Visit console.croc.com, create account if you don't have one, and copy your API key. We'll use this in the next step. Step three, initial setup. Now let's run the setup script. First, run this code. Then run this. The script will create a .env file for you. When prompt, edit this file and add your configuration. Basically, you need to set service platform to Krog and set a Krog API key to the actual API key we got from step two. Step four, system permissions. This is the most important step. This app needs two permissions to work properly. Go to System, Preferences, select Privacy and Security, select Accessibility, then find Terminal in the list and check the box. Also, under Privacy and Security, select Microphone and find Terminal and check the box. Launch the application. Now you are ready to start. Run this code. You should see initialization message and voice assistant started. That means it's working. Using whisper input is simple. Hold the option key and speak. Release to transcribe your speech. The text will appear at your cursor position in any application. The final step is optional. If you want to launch the app more easily, you can create a desktop shortcut using Automator. First, open Automator from your application folder, then select application as a document type. Next, search for run shell script in the actions library and drag it to your workflow area. In the script box, Enter the script in the video description session. Make sure to replace the path 
with your actual project path. Save this as an application to your desktop or application folder. Now you can double click this app to start Whisper input without opening the terminal. That's it. We now have the most powerful speech to text tool running on your Mac. The setup only takes a few minutes. By the time you save, using voice input will be enormous. Alternatively, if you prefer a native Mac OS application, Whisper Keyboard is an excellent option. However, the free version only allows 20 sentences per day, which is definitely not enough for regular use. For unlimited sentences, you need to pay uh, $10 per month. Uh, that said, I believe Whisper Input is already good enough for most users. For more help, check the GitHub repository issues. Happy voice typing. I see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <coughs>